let's turn it on first to do that take the cable and uh, just plug it here to charge and once you do that you'll have to wait a little bit here it is and uh, here you're going to see how much of the battery you have if it's below 30 percent leave the charger while you're doing the setup um, if it's above 30 percent you can remove the cable all right now the first step here is to choose the language and i'm going to choose english and now we need to scan the qr code to install the app so let's do that now because the qr code wants me to download the app from the website actually that's all right if you want to do that you can but i prefer to download it from the app store so i'm going to go there and search for the app here name of the app is me fitness and uh, this is how the app icon looks like so once you find it tap on install once the installation is done tap on open and again open and here it is now let's set it up so first i'm going to tap on start here and then i'm going to check the first check the second one is optional then tap on agree here you need to choose the region my region i'm actually in austria but it's selected to germany it doesn't really matter i'm just going to tap here on next and this is it so you can see it's super simple to get into the app now to connect the devices we'll actually need to log in first so to do that let's go to the profile so here we have an option to sign in you have also an option to uh, create an account uh, you can also sign in with your sms or you can sign it with your google profile so i'm going to sign here with my google profile uh, i need to agree here and that's pretty much it as simple as that i have a pop-up here for the sync i'm going to tap here on ok that's quite important and now we can go to the devices and add the device okay so now i'll make sure first that my smart band 9 is close to the phone then i'm going to tap on add the device here tap on agree and then again agree and then allow while we're waiting i just want to steal a few seconds from you to let you know that i released my first course where i teach people how to make money online by selling your photography and videos if you're interested check out the link below and here it is we can see it has find the smart band really fast so now let's stop here now here you're going to allow this access to the contacts and call history tap on pair and here also tap on this check and once the pairing is done you're going to see here a small check and you're going to see the watch face so this indicates that pairing is done but there are a few things we need to do here so the next step here is to tap on done and then continue now just go through this next 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 and next then here we have a turn on notifications you can choose to get notifications from your mobile applications to on the smart band 9 uh, or you can tap here and choose a specific applications from which you want to get notifications if you check this this is going to send the notifications from pretty much all of your applications so because i'm demonstrating it really doesn't matter but actually i would advise you to check this one here and to check from which apps do you want to get notifications uh, to your smart bind 9 now, in this case i'm just going to go with the first option tap here on set and here we need to make sure that we allow the smartwatch to send the notifications to the smart band so tap here on set and then scroll down find the app here it is me fitness tap on it and allow notification access i'm going to allow it here and that's pretty much it now tap on the arrow to go back and then back again so this is done i'm going to make sure that this is also checked because we want to see the incoming calls on the smart band then i'm going to tap here on set and then again allow and allow and then again allow so you need to allow all of this sync dnd dnd stands for don't disturb so if you set your phone to don't disturb that's going to set the smart button automatically to don't disturb too so they're going to be connected um this is up to you i'm going to leave it as checked tap on set 
and uh, if you get any update pop-ups like I did here definitely always tap on continue and install the updates it's very important that you always install the updates okay now that installation is done you're going to get this pop-up just tap here on ok and that's pretty much it and this is it we are pretty much done with uh, connection now if you have this message here don't worry about it i'm sure that this is because of the update uh, but it's probably going to go away in the future by itself so don't worry about it you can now proceed and use your smartband 9 normally i hope that this tutorial was useful to you if it was please consider subscribing thank you guys for watching have a nice day and see you in the next one bye bye